only the budget itself is a reduction of 1.5% or 2.5% based on last year's wage increases. But it's always been my opinion that non-union employees should actually make more than union employees because there is no negotiation that goes on. There isn't a clause to the bargaining unit. This is just done by the swipe of a pen. But unfortunately, that will always be used against us in future negotiations. That if we were to give, for example, 4% pay raise this year, next year as renewals come up in the following year, that they will be based on what you were able to give the non-union service center for. So having an understanding of what's going on in today's society, just two or three months ago, our seniors were informed that their Social Security benefits will be at zero for the next two years. They will not get a wage increase at all, cost of living adjustment. Two of the largest employers in Lehigh County also announced zero increases. Lehigh Valley Hospital Center and St. Luke's Hospital Center. Scott's Miracle Grow, the company that I happen to work for, is a Fortune 750 company, is giving zero. Lafayette and Pasadena Bank is giving zero. And I'm sure there are a lot more other local companies that frankly just don't have the resources to pay for labor increases. Especially in the face of a nearly 10% unemployment rate, which is 9.8 currently, and is predicted to be about 10% by the end of October, there is a growing number of people who should just be grateful they have a job at this point. And we give good benefits, and I just think a freeze in salary, considering we are looking at a $20 million budget deficit based on revenues coming out of cash operating funds that will no longer be there, I just think zero is the appropriate thing to do, and then let's look at it. 